my name is Jen, and ladies and gentlemen, you're about to be... Completely damaged. to completely damage. I am RC and we're not gonna stop right now. We're with Raina Fire right now. She's in action tonight. Raina, who are you versing tonight? Oh my goodness, I'm facing two really tough competitors. Tonight I'm facing this girl, Monique, and I have this new girl coming in. Wait a minute. Wait, why are you asking me? I thought, how do you not know the other girl's name? What's I'm going sorry, on here? What's little, going on here? Hot in here but... All right, well, I'll save them on this one. My two competitors, they might be really tough, but I'm here, I'm trained, I'm ready to go, and uh, they got some tough competition tonight. Definitely. Now, um, when do you start getting into professional wrestling? Oh, gosh. I was actually started up in professional wrestling a couple years ago. And uh, it's a mini funny story. I was in fashion school. I know, right? And uh, I got a nice little phone call to come home. Surprise, I'm in a wrestling school. After you take your first hit, I guess you get hooked. So Definitely. Now, um, who were some of your influences growing up? And uh, what made you become a wrestler? Oh, my goodness. Some of my influences. Oh, my gosh. Well, as for the men, I mean, the way that they wrestled, I got to say, Shawn Michaels was always just such, I guess, the showstopper, yeah, you know what really, I mean? Yeah. I can't help myself. You got Razor Ramon and how he was coming out. You had Sable. I mean, she was a tough girl. She was rocking all the leather and the whip, and it was very, uh, it was empowering, especially women like Trish Stratus, Miss Elizabeth, because you can always be tough, but you always have to make sure you have class. Definitely, and really uh, you got, you, we, we, never, we can't forget about the Michaels uh, Razor Ramon ladder match. Was that one of your favorites? Oh my goodness, that was one of those matches that you kind of sit there covering your eyes up, but you just can't bear to look away. Well, thank you, Raina Fire. I hope, you. hope you're on fire in the ring tonight, and best of luck in there. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're going to take this commercial break, and we'll be right back. You are watching Completely Damaged! Welcome back, Completely Damaged fans. I am with Mitch Palooza. Mitch, how are you feeling about tonight's matchup? I'm feeling awesome about tonight's match. Let me tell you something. Evan Nemo, Boy Boy, Mitchell Palooza is here in WWA tonight. He's from Boyertown, Pennsylvania. Right here we're wrestling tonight. Graduating class of 2001, Boyertown High School, and he's here to party. And let me tell you something about Mitchell Palooza's party, baby. I got plenty of people that come to the parties, and we have a blast. And tonight is a huge party. But let me tell you something. Evan Nemo, Boy Boy, tonight... You're not invited. Everybody here is invited, but Mitchell Palooza is here to party. And I don't like when people come to my parties and show me up. So tonight, here at Zern's Market, Mitchell Palooza is going to show you, boy boy, and show you, Evan Nemo, how to party. Short and sweet, Mitch Palooza, best of luck tonight. Thank you. You got it. Welcome back, Fleet Damage fans. We are back here at Zern's Farmer's Market Worldwide Wrestling Alliance action. And the man next to me, you guys know him very well. He's the owner of the Worldwide Wrestling Alliance, Dino Santa. And Dino, um, we have a couple of things lining up, you know, for your company. And great things are looking good. You know, it's September. And, you know, you have, we have a Bruno San Martino induction coming up. Uh, can you explain a little bit about it? Well, you know, it is so warm and so hot, but it's hotter than news that I'm going to give it to you, to all the wrestling fans throughout the world. As you know, there was only one true living legend into the world of professional wrestling, Bruno San Martino. And Bruno San Martino did not have, want to have anything to do with World Wrestling Federation to be into the Hall of Fame because he didn't like the way he was treated. Well, let me tell you something. The Worldwide Wrestling Alliance, we're the only company, and we are so proud because we're the only one. Throughout the world, we're the only one. We are going to induct Bruno San Martino into the Hall of Fame Friday night, November the 7th, right in Lansdale, Pennsylvania. And what the best part is, he's going to be there the whole night. He's going to meet, he's going to greet, he's going to talk to the people, he's going to take a picture. Every one of you who really wanted to know Bruno for years and years, 
Now is the chance of your lifetime. You're going to be with them the whole night. You're going to listen to the men talk about what happened when wrestling was wrestling. What happened all those years when, when you see the blood and you see the tears and you see the work that people like Bruno San Martino and Chip J. Strombo and Ken Pantera and many of the great guys put it into that ring. Now what do you see today with some other wrestling company? Now, Dino, um, I, I'm, I'm guessing the fans are more than welcome to come to this. How do they find information about this? And uh, do they call the office? Do they contact the website? Well, they can look at our website, WorldwideWrestlingAlliance.com. You can buy the ticket with your MasterCard, with any credit card. You can call our office at 215-362-7184. You can come to any of our wrestling show. You can look us on the book. We're the only wrestling company that put our phone number into the book so if you want to call the operator just ask for the worldwide wrestling lines you get my number so get the opportunity of a lifetime come all of you wrestling fans you are invited you're going to be face and face right there next to bruno san martino the whole night the whole night be with them have the experience of a lifetime are there going to be any other um superstars there that are going to be at the um event absolutely we expect a lot of old superstar a lot of old timer to come out and honor Bruno San Martino. I know that Nikolai Volko say is going to be there. I know that Boogie Boogie Man Balian is going to be there. There are so many. I mean, you know, I don't want to un announce a name right now, but all I can say is surprises, surprises, and surprises. And the best it is, you're going to be there with the living legend of pro wrestling. I mean, what else you want? Doesn't get much better than that. And the following night, I heard it's going to be a super show in Hazleton. Uh, can you describe about that? Well, you know, this show, I, I, I've been working on, on, on an event like this for many, many years, you know. I'm trying to get back some the old time or also from ECW. I know that a lot of area in the surrounding vicinity, they love to see some really hardcore wrestling. And we are family oriented, but we can still do some, you know, some, make the fans see what they really want to see. So we're going to have a Spike Dudley, we're going to have Alex Ryden, we're going to have the Blue Meaning. It's going to be fun the whole night. Bruno's going to be there the whole night too. I mean, it, it, the girls are going to be there. There's going to be all kind of championship on the line. What can I tell you? It's going to be one of the best. It sounds like a lot of excitement. Remember, it's November 7th, right? 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. at uh, what's the Majestic Caters? Is it? Mary Jane Cater. It's a beautiful facility right on Brother Street in Lansdale, Pennsylvania. Sounds like it's going to be a great, a great night, great full of excitement. And uh, the following night, you have a super show with some of the top talent around. And, of course, Dino Santa and the Worldwide Wrestling Alliance doesn't get any better than that. So, um, Completely Damaged fans, uh, he gave you the site. Um, we'll have the phone number on there where you can contact the Worldwide Wrestling Alliance to get more info on that. So, um, you know, make sure you're there because it's going to be one event that you will not want to miss. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Dino. Welcome back, fans. I am with the Dark Patriot. Hey, Dark Patriot, who are you racing tonight? Rob Dreamcatcher. Rob Dreamcatcher. Okay, now, um, quick question. How did you get started in the professional wrestling business? Uh, I got started about 12 years ago uh, in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Been doing this thing ever since. All right, and uh, who are some of your influences? Uh, the Freebirds, you know, the Hawk Hogan's, you know, all the guys from the 80s, Don Morocco, Paul Orndorff. So. Are you excited about Bruno Sammartino getting inducted into the Hall of Fame for Triple WA? Definitely, definitely excited about Bruno coming here. You know, I'm excited about being here. So let's see what happens, you know. I'll be ready to get this over with and get back overseas. Well, thank you, Roger. Thank you very much for your time. No problem. Good luck thank tonight. You. This is Glenn the Beast Osborne, and you're watching Completely Dad. Welcome back, completely damaged fans. I am with Shatter, and tonight he has a, he's defending his title right here. Whereas in the Flying Hawaiian, Shatter, how you th how you feel about tonight's matchup? You know, usually I'm not in the ring with the, the cruiserweight guys. You know, uh, got some speed, got you know, got some things going on. So it's going to power him, man. You know, I'm going to try to take him out with the power. Shatter can take him out with the power now. I want to add something. Uh, who were some of your influences growing up in the professional wrestling business? Um, I would say old school, old, any old school wrestling, old school uh, NWA, like Ric Flair, you know, the Horseman. Um, by far, Glenn Osborne is one of my favorites as far as the in Indies. I've known him for a very long time. Um, just, you know, 
uh, I would say most of those guys. I mean, not a whole lot of the WWF guys or WWE, whatever you want to call it now, um, but NWA wrestlers. Are you looking forward to the uh, Bruno San Martino Hall of Fame dinner? Yeah, sure. Bruno's good. I mean, old school. Uh, man was a champion for seven years. So, I mean, how can you beat that? That's true. Uh, Shatter, best of luck tonight against Great. the final line. Hope you can retain the title. Yep. Now I am with uh, the Wolfman. Yeah, that's right. You're with the, you're you're with the Great Wolfman. Intercontinental title holder still, but that ain't on the line tonight. Tonight I'm working dog collar match. And but you know what? I'm gonna tell you something. Else. I don't really want to talk about myself. I want to talk about the man right here standing alongside of me. I've been wrestling for 27 years. I went out. Talk shatter, found Steve Steele. I'm gonna manage those two guys to the top, tag team champions. But before we do that, we gotta get some gold around this man's waist. Steve Steele, you're gonna see a lot of him. What do you say, Steve? Tell him about it. Steve, how do you feel about being in the World Wide Wrestling Alliance? Feels great, man. It's a dream come true to become a pro wrestler, and it's great here to work for the Triple WA. It's just an honor, man. It really is. It's really an honor. Now, who were some of your influences growing up, and how'd you get started in the business? Uh, Rick Flair, man, he's a, he's a legend, and uh, he's been my favorite. Uh, he's he's the man. So, did you like that uh, match with Michaels that he had at WrestleMania? Uh, it was all right. He should have won though. Now, who are you facing tonight? Tonight it's Baby Nemo. Baby Nemo, and what are your preparations on going into tonight's matchup? Beat him. Uh, they call him Baby Nemo. I'm gonna make him cry like a baby. So uh, that's about it. Good statement right there. And Wolfman, tonight you have the Hellhound Cujo. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? You know, no problem with Cujo. Cujo, I've handled Cujo before. Cujo, you ain't nothing but another knockoff of Brad or whatever, Ravich or whatever he called himself back then. So, Cujo, I'm going to take, put the chain on, wrap it around your neck, and send you home like the dog Yar. I'm not backing down when it gets tough Won't finish second place, I've had enough Oh well, yeah! You'll be fast, but I'll be faster I'm a natural disaster Hit me, hit me, hit me, but I'm not going down Lose or least I won't
Hi, I'm Boy Boy. And you're watching Completely Damaged. Gentlemen, it's been an action-packed night tonight. Thank you for joining in. And remember, don't keep it nice and neat. Keep it completely damaged.